enjoy, whether it be your business, your family, whatever it is. If you are happy with yourself, that's what success is. Let's get rid of the tension and the fear and be happy with who you are because God created you to be a perfect rendition of you, not me, not someone else. Whatever the mind can conceive and believe, the mind can achieve. Welcome to the Dream Big and Think Different podcast, where we inspire, impact, and empower. Progress is impossible if you always do things the way you have always done things. It's time to dream big. Here's your host, Dr. Sachin Maskey. All right, everyone, welcome to another episode of Dream Big and Think Different podcast where our mission is to inspire, impact, and empower millions of people. I'm your host, Dr. Sachin Maskey, and today we have a very, very special guest. I'm super excited, who is another dreamer, an extraordinary human and iconic expert in personal finance and personal development, Sharon Lecter, who has a very, very inspiring story, and uh, we all need to hear and she is, um, you know, one of my favorite in, 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 in terms of I'm going to talk about why. But I'm very honored and privileged uh, to have you, Sarah, in our show today. Welcome to the show. Well, thank you so much. I'm delighted to be with you. My favorite topic, money. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Sure. We're going to learn a lot of things about money today. And just to let all the listeners today, how we met and, and how I know about Sarah is basically uh, I met Sarah in, in person first time in Malibu, California where she was one of the uh, keynote speaker uh, and, and one of the mastermind uh, event Alibet. I had a privilege to have her, you know, with breakfast with her and ask her if she can be on my podcast. And guess what? She said yes. And I'm so, again, very happy. And uh, just to give you a backstory, like 2018, in my story that I found a book uh, called Rich Dad and Poor Dad, which Sharon is one of the co-author in the book and has completely changed my mindset and and whatever I'm doing right now and inspire me to do a lot of things I'm doing currently for the past six years. Uh, everyone knows about Rich Dad Poor Dad book. I mean, it's a, one of the amazing book that I even sold like 40 million copies and, uh, you know, in multiple country. And she's one of the original co-author and help uh, other uh, Rich Dad Poor Dad book series. Uh, again, uh, welcome. And uh, <laughs> I'm going to go over the bio quickly and then we're going to start the show. Um, uh, I'm just going to read over the bio, and, and if there's anything uh, Sharon can add, that'd be great. You know, she is again internationally recognized financial literacy expert, a keynote speaker, and business mentor. Uh, she has a, she is a five-time New York a best uh, t- uh, New York Times best-selling author, uh, entrepreneur, philanthropist, and enjoyed 35 years of career as a licensed CPA. She has advised two U.S. president on the topic of financial literacy. Uh, she has co-author again uh, multiple books international bestseller, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, and 14 other books in the Rich Dad series. Um, again, um, she, her bestselling books includes uh, Three Feet from Gold, which I read uh, recently, and I would encourage everyone to read the book. Outwitting the Devil, I read that too. And also Think and Grow Rich for Women and Success and Something Greater. Uh, in 2021, Saren uh, titled Exit Rich was released to support entrepreneurs in building value and scheduling in their business so they can be positioned on the greatest potential. Our newest title, How Money Works for Women, was released in July in cooperation with Wealth Web Media, a leading publisher of financial education, material to support women taking control of their financial well-being. Uh, welcome to my podcast, Aaron. Thank you so much for your time. Let's get started. My first question today is who is Saren Lecter and why she is in this world? Well, let's see. I've been around a long time, so I've done a lot of session, but I actually grew up in a very lower middle class environment. My neither one of my parents even had high school graduate high school degrees, but my dad went on to run the engineering school for the Navy. So totally self-taught. We talked about things like assets, cash flow um, at the dinner table. I didn't realize until much later that I had been given this huge gift as a child that most people don't get, and that's understanding money. Mm -hmm. Um, My dad had a used car lot. We lived in a little tiny house between his Mm -hmm. used car lot, my mom's beauty shop. And then we had rental properties at 11. I had to go scrub out bathrooms between tenants. So I say I was a real estate investor from the age of 10. 
But wow. um, I realized, you know, I, I got my degree in accounting, only woman in my classes. And I was one of the very first women starting in the CPA firm in the Southeast United States. So Mm -hmm. It was definitely a male dominated environment, but I learned so much because I was learning how businesses succeeded and probably more importantly, how they failed from the mm -hmm. inside out. And so as I continued going forward, I realized I, I had a gift to share with people to really educate, give them the tools they need because we're not teaching kids about money in school. So we learn about it at home. Hence Absolutely. the term, the rich get richer, the poor get poorer. Yeah. So I ended up getting married and we had kids and I helped create and start the talking book business. These right. little books that had the sound strips down the side. We grew mm -hmm. that around the world. It was my first global brand. And then when we sold that business, we moved to Arizona. Our oldest son went off to college, mm -hmm. came home. He left in September, came home in December in credit card debt. I was so mad at him, but I was also mad at myself. I thought I'd taught him. I didn't yep. know he had a credit card. He got to school and there was, here's a table, free pizza, free money, free t-shirt, free money. He had a really <laughs> good time his first semester in college. And that was December of 1992 when he came home and asked us to help bail him out. We didn't do it, but it, that mm -hmm. was December of 92 is when I dedicated the rest of my career to financial education. So. Wow. Wow. That's amazing. So I, I, you know, I really wanted to go back in your childhood and, and since, you know, we were talking about dream big and, and think different. So when did you, uh, you know, so what, what was your childhood dream, you know, when you were you know, around age, you know, 18 or whatever? You know? Well, I loved my fourth grade teacher and uh -huh. um, I wanted to be a math teacher. That was my really? big dream. Yeah. And so in eighth grade, my English teacher told me that I was going to be a famous writer on stage some, one day. Wow. And I thought she was crazy. But um, as I continued going through school, I said, OK, well, maybe <clears throat> maybe I want more than just to be a teacher. Maybe I want to do something in science. So I actually when I was in college, I double majored in accounting wow. and genetics. So two very difficult tracks simultaneously. And then when I realized that I could get out of school quicker as an accountant than as a, mm -hmm. a gen genetic doctor, I thought, well, all right, so I'm going to do that. And that's kind of how I ended up in accounting. But I've always loved numbers. I've always loved math. Your numbers tell a story. Yep. And that's unfortunately, most people don't know their story because they don't take the time to know their numbers. Exactly, exactly. Truly believe in that, you know, and, and I guess so. Uh, it's it's all uh, you know interesting on our childhood dream and going like what do you want to be is it changes every year I, I guess <laughs> but it's amazing to know. Well, that. we still ask ourselves, at, you know, at, I'm going to turn seventy in January. It's like I still wow. What do I want to do? <laughs> What's next? Yeah, you know, I, so, one of my one of my mantras when I left public accounting or yeah. thought it was, it was crazy, but I left <clears> to be an entrepreneur and I. I said, why not? You know, why not do something different? Why not take the path less traveled? Why not solve Absolutely. a problem or serve a need? The most successful businesses solve problems and serve needs. And you're doing that by starting this podcast. So. Absolutely. Absolutely. So what, what is your dream dream now, Sarah? Uh, what do you want to achieve? Well, my dream now is to continue um giving back. As a little girl, my dad would ask me every night, Sharon, have you added value to someone's life today? Mm -hmm. And he's been gone for almost 18 years, but I still ask myself that every single night, being of contribution. And wouldn't the world be a better place if everybody focused on giving value instead of taking value? Absolutely. And so my dream is not to be a billionaire. My dream is not to have the, the fancy plane and the yachts. And that's never been my dream. My, mm -hmm. my dream is not and never has been to be a well-known speaker. But that's, you know, in order for me to accomplish the gift that I have um, right. and to share it, that's what has happened. And so my dream now is really focused on continuing to support people. We really focus on one-on-one -on -one mentoring and group mentoring mm -hmm so that I can share my knowledge, my experience, and help people navigate their success. Because you don't know what you don't know. And Absolutely. so it's really important to have a mentor that can help guide you, speed your way to success, steer you around the pitfalls, prevent Absolutely. missteps. And so yes. that's something that I really, really enjoy. 
And of course, I'm continuing to write and, and share information. My, my latest book you mentioned, How Money Works for Women, I'm quite excited about it. This is what it looks like. It's wow. four <laughs> color. It's a okay. fun, like a graphic novel, right? Wow. And it mm -hmm. shows women from all walks of life. There, we have women That's from amazing. every decade, from 19 to 86. Mm -hmm. And we talk about the, the issues that we face as women that are unique. Um, mm -hmm. For instance, having your spouse die or getting divorced after 25 years, having right. a special needs child, becoming part of the sandwich generation where you're taking care of your parents and your adult children. Um, mm -hmm. Things like starting a business, planning for college debt, planning for a, mar a wedding, all, all right. those things we talk about. It's just, I, I'm so proud of it. This is really an incredible tool for women to help navigate. And it's easy Absolutely. to understand. So it's easy yeah. to read. And your, your financial knowledge will be so much stronger when you finish reading it. Absolutely. I encourage everyone to check that out. And you guys have an Audible too, by the way. Um, this book is not on Audible yet because we just released it. If okay. you order it through my website, SharonLector.com, I'll be happy to autograph it for you. Well, thank you so much. And I really appreciate that. Yeah, absolutely. I, I truly, truly believe, believe in contribution and giving back. That's one of my mission in life to impact in a lot of people's lives. Guess what? One day we all have to, you know, live this world. And the only thing that can remain is the, the impact you make and legacy you create. So I really appreciate sharing that. Um, now we're going to go back to our topic today. I, I think we want to focus on, I think, two things. One is entrepreneurship and also uh, uh, money mastery, uh, whatever. Uh, let's talk money program that you want. We want to talk more about that. So let's start with entrepreneurship. Uh, and I would like to hear from Sarah, who has experienced more than 30 years. Uh, how do you define entrepreneurship and, and how what's the journey of entrepreneurs have? You know? Well, entrepreneurs... The first step is to have definiteness of purpose, have a thirst for what you want to do. We've seen a dramatic increase in entrepreneurship. COVID certainly spurred that a lot. People getting, yep. um, you know, right sized, outsized, downsized. So they're mm -hmm. kind of forced into entrepreneurship. But the issue is, you know, you want to have what the, the what problem do you want to solve? What need do you want to serve? Absolutely. And that's very important because that keeps you focused. It takes it outside of you. It gives you that mm -hmm. bigger mission, that definiteness of purpose. And so Absolutely. we've got a lot of problems in the world mm -hmm. right now. A lot yeah. of problems that need to be solved and a lot of needs that need to be served. So that's why you're seeing a huge rise in entrepreneurship. Plus people mm -hmm. are taking control of their lives or they don't want to be beholden to an employer or the government anymore. They want to be in control of their own life. And that's one of the greatest benefits of being an entrepreneur. You are the boss. You are the you are the CEO of your own life. Yeah. And so entrepreneurship is 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 you know twenty years ago it was kind of a dirty word. People didn't talk about it much, but now it's like it is the sexy thing to be. The issue mm -hmm. is you have to build the business around it. So many people jump into entrepreneurship right. without understanding how to build a business. Yeah. And so they falter and they fail because they don't study and know how to build that business. And that's what we we teach people how to build the business so it's strong. So you mm -hmm. have a successful business that's sustainable right. and scalable and eventually mm -hmm. saleable. Mm -hmm. And that's, you know, a lot of people really, they think they own a business, but they just own a job. They've built right. themselves a job. They haven't built the structure in it for it to be able to grow. Mm-hmm. So what, what were your advice to entrepreneurs who are listening? Like, you know, uh, what are the probably two or three things you can tell them to, you know, scale their business or, or basically, you know, do be be better, you know? Well, I think you've got to start with not just, you know, we get excited about something, we have a product, we start selling it, but we don't have the structure. And so okay. when you start having a little success, you, it gets very wobbly. You can't sustain the success because you don't have the business systems. Mm -hmm. And part of that is you know, called intellectual property. Intellectual right. property is um, very important. And you have to think about that as you're building your business, making sure That's you right. have tight agreements with people that are um, building things for you. One of the biggest issues I see is people will 
pay somebody to build their website. They'll pay somebody to do a marketing campaign. They'll pay somebody to do um, pictures for them. And they don't own that. Mm -hmm. They haven't right. taken the time to do a, a work for hire agreement with them. I see right. that so much. And the third thing I see um, is that we, mm -hmm. we get all excited about social media. Mm -hmm. and social media is great. Um, and you want to be out there. It's kind of, it's a lead generation. Mm -hmm. The problem is that you don't own those people, those names. That's not right. building value in your business. It's a great marketing mm -hmm. tool. So it's very important to nurture them, be very right. active in social media, but nurture them home to your database, bring right. them home. So once that you build your database, that's intellectual property that some companies sell just for the size of their database. Mm -hmm. And so those are some of the things that I see, mo you know, some of the mistakes that I see most often in, in business. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you for sharing that. Uh, so what I would, uh, a lot of time when I hear about like success uh, story about people and, and a lot of time we don't hear about the challenges, right? And the like successful people. So in terms of entrepreneurs, myself, and what, what challenges you have faced personally in your, you know, entrepreneur journey, if you can share that, that'd be great. Well, I think it's really important to understand that success is built on failure. Fail, you know, you find a way you go down one path mm -hmm. and you don't know if that's the right path or not. But once you determine that it's not, at least you know not to go there again. And mm -hmm. so um, I, I, I don't, failure is not a definition. A lot of people have a failure and they feel, they feel like they are a failure mm -hmm. and it, you're not, it's just something that happens. So do you learn from it and get stronger yeah. Yeah. or do you let it define you? So a failure is not a definition. It's an right. occurrence. Yep. It's an occurrence to learn from. And right, so, absolutely. you know, I've had lots of failures in my life. The most mm -hmm. successful people have a lot of failures on their pathway because they've learned what doesn't work. And I think right. it's really important to, you know, to, to understand that. We, we're taught to, we're taught to be perfect. We're taught mm -hmm. that a mistake is a problem. And I grew up that way. I grew up as a very, you know, straight A student and I'd go crazy when I made a mistake. And I'm still, you know, that natural instinct is still there, but it's mm -hmm. like, okay, so this doesn't work. Next, what's next? Yeah. Don't, allow, don't, don't allow yourself to stew in, um, you know, in a failure. You just say, Absolutely. okay, that happened next. You're listening to the Dream Big and Think Different podcast with Dr. Sachin Maskey. Be sure to stop by SachinMaskeyMD.com to download a free copy of Dr. Maskey's book. As long as you don't give up, as long as you don't quit, I think the failure is part of success. You're absolutely right. So I totally agree with that, you know. And uh, basically, uh, I wanted to talk about uh, the famous uh, mindset concept. I think I, <laughs> I've learned from the book from Rich Dad and Cash Flow Quadrant. I want to really touch base that briefly about that, if you can explain what is ESBI so that listener can, you know, uh, learn more about that, you know. Sure. If you think of a quadrant, so it's like this, the top left is E for employee. The bottom left is S for self-employed or small business owner, specialist. <clears throat> the top right is B for business owner and the bottom right is I for investor. It's the four mm -hmm. tape, four mindsets around money. And Absolutely. I, you know, I, the left side, the E and the S are what school teaches us. It teaches us to be an employee. It teaches yeah. us to be a specialist, doctor, lawyer, right? Accountant. <clears throat> but that the problem there is there's only so many hours in the day and only so many days in the week. You're trading yourself for money, right? right? Time for money. Mm -hmm. The right exactly. side of the quadrant is as a business owner, you own a business where other people work for you. Systems are working for you. You mm -hmm. don't own a job. You truly own a business. Mm -hmm. On the bottom right, investor, that's where your money is working for you. I still make money out of all four quadrants. Right. I am an employee of my own company. 
Mm -hmm. I specialize as an accountant, as a mentor. I get paid for my time, right? right? I choose to do that. My husband and I make far more money on the right side of the quadrant as a right. business owner. We own multiple businesses that other people operate. And right. then the bottom right, investors. We have our money invested so that it pays us back. So it's working mm -hmm. for us. When you have money on the right side of the quadrant, it's like your employee is working hard for you as an investor. And so um, the, the definition of financial freedom mm -hmm. is when the income from your assets exceed mm -hmm. your monthly expenses, you mm -hmm. are financially free. It does not have to be millions of dollars. Absolutely. All right. But the problem is too many of us fail to focus on buying, building and creating income producing assets. That's the secret. The secret yep. is as my favorite word on earth is assets. Yep. And to Absolutely. try and drive it home, I have a phrase, assets are sexy. <laughs> and the older you get, the sexier they become. Because once you have an asset working for you, you know, even while you're sleeping, it's still yeah. working for you. So focus on buying, building, creating assets. Yeah, interesting, interesting. Yeah, that's when I when I learn about that, and I'm also still I'm an employee, but I started my mindset to shift to the basically um, be in and um, big business and uh, I guess investor. So when I heard about the you know the ninety percent of wealth uh, is created by the ten percent of the the group in the right side of the quadrant, that's a mind blowing you know, and 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 ninety percent of the people on the left side of, uh, of the quadrant controls ten percent of the wealth. You know, and um, I guess I, I'm trying to sip my, as you said, to focus into the right side of the quadrant. You know, that's that's amazing concept. And, and thank you for sharing that again, you know. Uh, now we're going to talk about your, uh, the famous, another from the book I re recently read. Or, I mean, I read Audible, so I learn about this personal success equation. Uh, if you can elaborate a little bit more about that, that would be great. Certainly. Well, first of all, go to personalsuccessequation.com. We have, okay. I have a, a workbook that you can um, work through on your own. But the mm -hmm. personal success equation we released in the book, Three Feet from Gold. And it's really P plus T. It starts with P plus T, passion plus talent. It's all about mm -hmm. you. All right. So my passion actually came from anger. I was mad we weren't teaching kids about money. That's my right. passion is as, as strong today as it was December of 1992. Plus yeah. talent. I had those years as an accountant. I had years in publishing. And so right. I combine that. And most of us stop there. We think we have to do it on our own. Hence, we own a job. Mm -hmm. But truly, the true success, every bit of my success, I can attribute to not only my passion, my talent, but times A, power mm -hmm. of association. Who are mm -hmm. you aligning with? Who's on your team? Do you have people on your team who are strong where you are weak? Right. Do you have the right associations, strategic alliances, partners, people that help you scale, help you build your business? And then times A, taking action. Action, now, yeah. How many times do you know what you're supposed to do? You mm -hmm. just don't do it. Yeah. Every time I share that, I feel busted, <laughs> like I'm holding a mirror to my face. But yeah. passion, P plus T, yeah. times A, association, mm -hmm. times A, taking mm -hmm. action. But then there's another element. It, all of that comes together. It's mm -hmm. plus faith. I, I really like the last yeah. part. <laughs> yeah, faith. Faith in yourself. Yeah. Faith in what you're doing. Faith that it's needed and necessary and faith mm -hmm. that you will succeed. And that's where the catch is. Too many of us, that F is not faith, it's fear. And mm -hmm. so we hold ourselves back from reaching the success that we deserve. And that's yep. my current mission is to help people get through those blocks and those barriers of fear so that you truly can reach the mm -hmm. level of success that you deserve. Absolutely. That's a truly like very powerful statement and powerful concept if somebody can really get into that in a you know the power of association is one of the main i think also important because one plus one it not is equal to two and i think we talk about that well also, a perfect example you know, is this book that i share right, with you okay right this was yeah. in 1987 we created this company and the technology but nobody knew us and right. so we said how can we create success how can we impact 
and get children interested in reading again. And it was right. through that power of association where we did deal with little companies like Disney, Warner Brothers, Sesame Street. And by Absolutely. doing that, parents trusted those brands. Therefore, mm -hmm. they trusted us and allowed us to explode that brand around the world. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. So now the, the, the focus I'm going to talk about is Let's Talk Money program. And really excited to hear more about this from Saren. And uh, let's, you know, can you tell more about this? Like, what is this program for? Sure. You know, how often that's happened and, you know, all this stuff. Good stuff. I have um, the Let's Talk Money program is actually something that I do every month. With what's happening in the economy right now, it's so important to mm -hmm. understand as soon, you know, just in time information. All right. And so it's so important. Yep. I give every, the people that subscribe to this come every single month. I just had it yesterday, actually. I get broadcast really? it from my ranch. And okay. once a month, I tell you what's happening in the world of money because things mm -hmm. change. Just Absolutely. a week ago, the pundits were saying the stock market looks like it's going to remain strong through the year. Well, you know what's happened this week. Obviously, mm -hmm. that news is very different today than it was last week. And so Absolutely. now they're predicting a recession in 2024. And so mm -hmm. all of those things change. You need to be in the know. And mm -hmm. you need to be in the know from a trusted source. Mm -hmm. And so I, I scour every day the, the financial news from even the far left news media, the far right news media, because the truth is probably somewhere in the middle. And that's Absolutely. what I want to, I want to support people and help them create the right decisions for themselves and not be left behind. So mm -hmm. many of us, we were left behind because we don't know what's happening. And it's really important that we, you know, we stop that, that we get the information we need. And yep. more information about it is at learn.sharonlector.com is how okay. you can find more about Let's Talk Money. But that is a live presentation every mm -hmm. month. I talk about what's happening in the economy, and then we leave time for people mm -hmm. to ask me specific questions. And I invite them to stump me, give me something I can't answer. And that mm -hmm. will be the topic for the following month. But you know, wow. things like there's, there's a huge move in 19 states to um, put in an employment tax to cover long-term um, health insurance long-term mm -hmm. care, and it right. will be mandatory unless you've already selected and gotten your, your long-term care. But we don't know what the final bills are going to look like. And Washington State just started that tax July 1st. Wow. And so you may not be aware that this is happening, but now you yep. are because I'm sharing that with you. So there are 19 states. So you got to pay attention how <laughs> that will impact you. And yep, so yep. That, that's the kind of thing we talk about. When the mortgage rate the, the um, Biden's information came through a few months ago where he started penalizing people with good credit scores. So if you have a good credit mm. score, you're going to pay more in fees for your mortgage than mm -hmm. somebody who has a bad score. They're going to pay less. Really? It does wow. not make sense to me, <laughs> but that's what's happening. And so wow. those are the kinds of things that I share that you mm -hmm. may not be aware of. And I want people to understand how they can take action to put themselves in the best position. And okay. so go to learn.shareandlecture.com and join us each month. It's very inexpensive, um, but sure. it gives you the opportunity to be plugged in to what's happening in the economy. Sure. So this is just an online subscription program, like people can just go to your website and enroll in this program? Yeah, it's a live presentation every single month. It's it's live. And then we, we record it. So if you miss it one month, the recording gets sent out. So oh, wow. Yeah. And then that there's a companion package to what mm -hmm. my actual online course, the Money Mastery course that you and I spoke about before we started right. the interview. And the Let's Talk Money program is something that is... Um, really live and what's happening in the world. The money mastery course mm -hmm. is designed to teach you about the power of money from the mm -hmm. very beginning to the very end to help you. If you are in financial distress, it helps you figure out how to get out of stress. Mm -hmm. If you are comfortable, it shows you how to accelerate your wealth and mm -hmm. focus on buying, building, creating assets. And so that program is an online digital program okay. that I, you know, you can access me through a private Facebook group. We do um, quarterly Q and A's related to that program. 
And mm-hmm. that's something that uh, is, you go to my website, it's fifteen fourteen ninety nine. But mm-hmm. we have a free money mastery class, a master mm-hmm. class. And you can go to that to mm.sharonlecture.com forward slash MC. And that okay. will give you an opportunity to learn a little bit more about what we cover and what we do um, before investing in it. So mm.sharonlecture.com forward slash MC. Free. My gift, my, another gift to you. So. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yeah, I, so people can just go, I guess, to Sharon website and learn about this program but let's talk money program sounds like very exciting and uh you know it's monthly live i think everyone should like to hear about the live updates and everything when you talk about our economy is doing this right (laughs) yeah better to kind of plug in once a month and figure out where you are absolutely so what what in in your personal like you know right now what, what are a few things you are doing differently um like in terms of investment if you can share that you know uh to the people well, as I mentioned earlier, I, I'm turning 70 in January. My husband's 74, 75. Um, wow. By the way, you look amazing. <laughs> yeah. So, so our decisions right now are different than they were 10 years ago. All Absolutely. right. So we have, um, we have divested ourselves of certain real estate properties that we owned outright and now we're putting our money into large syndications, so we don't have to do the work. Somebody else Absolutely. is doing the work for us. So, but those are decisions based on who we are, where we are, and what we want for the future. And so the, that is a, a transition that we're doing, and we're putting our money with trusted resources that have large syndications, that are building new communities, that are investing in very large um, residential rental properties, apartment complexes. So those sure. are some of the things that we're doing. We are... Um, adjusting our focusing on our family. We want more family time. And by, by letting go of those things that we manage ourselves and putting it somewhere else, it gives us that, uh, that opportunity, but I am continuing to speak. I'm continuing to do my one-on-one mentoring. I'm continuing to write because it brings me joy. That's, that's beautiful. Yeah, so I, a lot of listeners might not be aware of syndication, but uh, actually it's a group investment and it's amazing. Like you're passively, there is amazing returns and, you know, based on the asset class and also, you know, tax benefit, you know, we, we you know, there is a lot of tax benefit too. So I would highly encourage to learn more about those things. Uh, towards the end of the show, believe it or not, I would like to ask a couple of more questions. And then, you know, the, my next question is, what is the biggest win in your life, Sarah, and how you define success? Well, let me start with the second question. I define success, and you would think I would have a dollar amount in my brain, but I don't. No money <laughs> is involved. So Absolutely. I define success as how, do, how you feel about yourself when you look in the mirror. Mm-hmm. Success is being happy, being um, in joy, an element of joy, in your mm-hmm. life, whether it be your business, your family, whatever it is, if you are happy with yourself, that's what success is. You know, let's re- let's get rid of the tension and the and the and the fear, and be happy with who you are. Because God created you to be a perfect rendition of you, not me, not someone else. And yeah. that's so important. So many, so much of our lives are right now are are based on social media and trying to live up to somebody else's expectation. No, stand in your own power. Be Absolutely. You know, there's only one you. you. <laughs> yes, there's only one of you and be happy with yourself because I have a daily message that I send out that's a motivational message it's called ATM, kind of okay. a, a play on the bank ATM, abundance tips and mentorship. And okay. I do that because I want people to feel good about themselves. And at the end of every episode, I say, you, I have you say it with me. I am fabulous. And I say, yes, you are. And go out and have a great day. So um, I I started that. Usually when I get mad about something, I start a new company. So when (laughs) COVID started, when COVID started, there was so much negativity, so much fear. I mean, people were paralyzed in fear. I started the daily ATMs and I just love them. People get such benefit out of it. And it helps me um, meet my dad's question. Have you helped someone's 
added value to someone's life today. So, mm -hmm. but that, that's the answer to your success. Sure. And my big win, you asked me about my big yes. win. My, I get asked that question a lot. I have had a very full life. I've had lots of ups and I've had lots of bound, downs. And so when mm -hmm. somebody asks me about my biggest win, I my answer is a little flip because I say it, the next one, mm -hmm. right? Because if we just define ourselves in the past, mm -hmm. we stop striving for the future. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. To totally, totally agree. Without you know, life, definitely, you know, it's, I, I call it life is like a, our electrocardiogram, you know, ups and down. If you are flat, you are dead, right? So we just have to, you know, follow, fall through and always keep on moving and really appreciate sharing that, you know, amazing. Um, believe it or not, my last question for today for Saren is, um, you know, where can people find you basically? And then what is the one thing you want to share before, um, you know, before the end of the show? Certainly. Well, I invite everyone to check me out, SharonLector.com. You see my name on the screen, SharonLector.com. Mm -hmm. If you want to reach me, info at SharonLector.com. That email will come to us, info at SharonLector.com. Mm -hmm. And again, I just remind you, PersonalSuccessEquation.com is the gift that I have for you, as well as mm.sharonlector.com forward slash MC is the masterclass on money. And mm -hmm. then let's talk money, which I, we're having such fun with that program and such great questions from people. And mm -hmm. that is learn.sharonlector.com. Absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Saren. All this information, I was just writing down all the golden nuggets today and really appreciate all the information. I would encourage everyone to read all the books Saren has written so far. Start with Rich Dad, Poor Dad and, you know, Outwitting the Devil. Uh, three Fruit from the Gold, and I'm going to have to read all other books too. And really, really amazing uh, to hear about your story and uh, all the achievements you have done. I really appreciate your time. Thank you so much, whoever is listening, watching. If you can share this amazing episodes to your friends and family so that they can learn about more of money and, and hopefully we all can grow together. Thank you so much. Absolutely. And don't forget, you are the CEO of your own life. Take control. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Have a great day, everyone. Thank you for listening to today's episode of Dream Big and Think Different. We hope you enjoyed it. Please be sure to subscribe to our show so you don't miss any gold nuggets. And we'd appreciate it if you could rate and leave us a review on iTunes, Spotify, and other platforms. Until next time.